So we need to determine this arbitrary constant d as well as lambda, our lambda prime, and we do this by appealing to the conditions on Fn that we developed previously. So from the normalization condition, which was this condition 1, if we put in for h sub n, our solution, then we would have in the product of each of these integral terms now integrated over their respective momentum coordinates And so we can, the integrations go from minus infinity to plus infinity. They go over all momentum space. And these integrals we can look up. And so we end up with the product of each of those contributions, which you can show to be 2 pi over lambda prime and the square root of that and of course all of that has to be equal to 1 and we can solve j again goes from 1 to 3n so there's 3n terms like this so you can easily show therefore that d must be equal to lambda prime over 2 pi the entire quantity raised to the 3n over 2 power. Now to obtain lambda prime we use the definition of temperature and we substitute our function hn which is the product of these exponentials into the definition of temperature and we pick out the exponent involving the kth molecule, which then is multiplied by pk squared in the pk term, and then all other molecules not equal to k, which would run from 3n minus 1 terms, have a simpler exponential form. And the final result of these uh, then must be equal to 1 half kt. So briefly, we can break this out. The first integral can be shown uh, to be equal to uh, 1 over lambda prime and the square root of 2 pi over lambda prime. And then any of these simple ex exponentials uh, is simply pi divided by lambda prime over 2 and again there will be 3n minus 1 of those terms so be 3n minus 1 power and uh, this should be a 1 half so we end up with this algebraic expression and if we simplify this and solve for lambda, we obtain the very simple result that lambda, which is, would be equal to 1 over Boltzmann's constant times temperature. And again, um, lambda prime recall is defined as lambda over m. So the final expression for the function hn can now be written using lambda and we get the expected result of this Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution and velocities.
And again, M would be the mass of a molecule, K is Boltzmann's constant, T is absolute temperature, and the coordinates now run from 1 to 3N. And this is the then the desired result for the momentum space integration of the Leoville equation.